getting into the uh, gaming news. A uh, new console on the horizon? Yeah. I um, guess, if you will. If you, if you can call it that. It. Yeah, I, I, I 100% would call it that. Um, again, for a lot of people that are, you know, if you're, if you're into gaming news, you've probably heard about this by now. It's been coming for a while now, but, you know, I guess it's, it's finally getting to the, the final stages of it. It's a, it's a handheld console called the Steam Deck. And for, I mean, it, it's pretty much in the title, the Steam Deck. If you're if you know anything about games, and you hear Steam, you think PC games exactly. It's pr- it's pretty much a portable PC for gaming. Now, anyone that's you know hears portable PC, automatically your mind goes to laptop. You know, mm-hmm. like yeah, there's plenty of portable PCs. There's laptops. No, no, this is. This thing is designed to look and feel like a, a, a game console. So it's like um, you can compare it to your Nintendo Switch, if you will. Uh, to me, it looks more like a Game Gear. I, well, I used to crave a Game Gear back in the day. Never got one. If anyone remembers the Sega Game Gear, but Game Gear was. It has that same, but it's, it's, it's like the same that, aesthetic, yeah. Same aesthetic, much bigger. Um, kind of like your Nintendo Switch, much beefier than the Nintendo Switch. Uh, it doesn't have the removable peripherals like the Nintendo Switch, but it's, it's that same kind of handheld. And the Steam Deck, I I mean, looking at it, I, I, I at first when I saw it, I was like, okay, it's just you know somebody's attempt to you know, because it's, it's not the first portable PC, it's not the first uh, attempt at something like this before. Mm-hmm. But given everything that it offers, I was pretty shocked, pretty impressed by it, and. I'm still hesitant to call it a console because it is a portable PC, and it, again, it's just that like you can run full Windows everything on it if you want to. Yeah, it's so yeah. that's why I'm a little hesitant to call it a console, but because it's it's designed specifically for playing uh, Game, video games. Yeah, games in mind. Yeah. It's kind of you know traversing that that gray area, if you will, where it's it's kind of on the fence, but but it, it's it's very good at what it does. Yes, and again, that's just for playing video games so if you have steam your entire steam library will be on there mm-hmm. you know once you sign in and everything like that so that's kind of cool and the fact that you can play like you know a lot of your pc titles on the go is quite impressive very impressive and the way they have you know the control options that you have Yes. Because you have buttons that you can map to be, you know, macros or mm-hmm. or whatever you need them to be. The same way you be on, like any, on any PC. Just like any PC. You have these touch pads that are kind of tracked during your thumb, if yes. you will. You, you, have the, for, for, you have the traditional joysticks and then you have touch yeah, pads. Yeah, thumbsticks and then you have the touch pads. Yeah. So if you don't want to use the, thumb, the, you know, the thumbsticks, you can use the touch pads to kind of to kind of give you somewhat of a PC mouse and keyboard feel. Yeah, it gives you that mouse feel like for, like for a trackpad game, yeah. yeah for games that utilize mouse it gives you that you know that quick response that you know like you would get from a mouse and um the way the one thing people have been complaining about it is that where the the thumbsticks are mm. it's kind of in a weird position as opposed they're to kind of higher than usual they're higher than usual um, but some hands-on reviews that I saw saying, even though it, like that, that that doesn't really come into play, really, like it, it doesn't it doesn't feel as awkward as you think it would, because you know, uh, it, I guess it, it, it really takes in some, there's some really some thought where we really went into the design, because usually when you're playing with a controller, you're, you're more your hammer hands in like this position, mm-hmm. but it, it's designed to like you have to hold it so it's like your hands are like like that. Mm-hmm. So when your when your hands are and for those of you you probably can't see my hand motions but you kind of give like a thumbs up the way you're holding it mm-hmm. so your thumbs are usually higher than, than regular so it 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 does it's it's a different hand position than than holding a controller but you know if you're if, once you have thumb good thumb dexterity I think you're fine um, and I think in terms of comfort you wouldn't have an issue either mm-hmm. but in terms of specs. Um, they give you a couple of options there, they, right? There, there's three different ones? Well, no, they give you a couple of options in terms of storage. Okay. But specs are the same across the board. Okay. And I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I don't have all the exact names of the different hardware pieces that, you know, maybe a, a PC, you know, aficionado could, you know, say, oh, that's, you know, this, 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 and they know, you know, 
how good these pieces are. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't, I, we're not that in depth when it comes to specs, <laughs> but I will say, you know, because when the review that I saw, it gave you, they gave you that, uh, you know, they told you all the this card and that piece and that, and they gave you all the names and everything, and you know, all that good stuff for those that wanted. But then they also gave you the dumbed down version, which is, it's essentially as good as an Xbox series uh, as good as an xbox one 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 x Mm. or playstation 4 you know as far as the processing power as as far as the processing power and the visuals you know because technically it it doesn't quite need a whole lot more than that for something like this for something that's portable Mm -hmm. that that's pretty good you you don't need more than that because in in terms of your visuals your screen isn't that big screen's not to utilize all the you know 4k and all that good stuff you know what i mean the screen's not that big so now granted you will get good visual i, I think it i think it is on an oled display if i'm not mistaken mm. but yeah you do get good visuals like and you know it can support ray tracing and all that good stuff as well too because mm-hmm. it is a, it is a pc mm-hmm. so so i mean all in all it looks great i think the, the announcement of it is pretty timely considering that Switch just announced their OLED um, mm-hmm. version. So it's like, it definitely has direct competition. Um, but Nintendo has is, is, is carved out its niche so that, you know, if you want to play Nintendo games, you got you to gotta go to Nintendo specifically. So I think they'll be, they'll be okay in that regard. But as far as the, the casuals that want a mobile experience, this is definitely an option. Maybe not so much for like your younger generation, like you know. No, this is not. This is, I wouldn't. This is not a console where a mother would buy this for a child and be like, okay, yeah, you know, here you go. Yeah, that no, because the kind of money you're gonna have to shell out for this thing. Well, it's not that expensive actually. It's not, but uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the bigger you know storage options. It, it's about five hundred for the, I think the, mm-hmm. you know, the, the biggest one. I think it was more than that actually. I think five and change. Yeah, five, five plus. So. Yeah. You know, it's, that's not something you, you don't want like a young child playing with. No. Just kind of knock around. This is so for... Switch still, you know, fills that. Mm-hmm. But this is for like your your core yeah. gamer, people that, that, you know, understand gaming. People if, that you're, want that. if you're a PC gamer, this is your mobile option. This is your mobile option. This is your... Now you can take your all your games on the go with you, no matter where you go. And, you know, enjoy that mobile experience. Mm-hmm. You know, if you don't have... If you're, if you're someone that has... You're a PC gamer, but you know you're thinking about upgrading your PC, and you're having issues, you know, you know, because of how expensive things are. This gives you a nice middle ground where you can get an up, somewhat of an upgraded PC, but not shell out as much as you would have to. Mm-hmm. As well as gives you that options of being portable, because you can you can dock this thing, and it operates like a 100% like a PC. You can you can. You can you can buy a dock for it and have keyboard and mouse. Keyboard and mouse it, and it's like PC. You can you can wipe the entire OS and put on Windows and operate like a PC, you know, like that as well. Mm-hmm. You know, but the it, 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 they they recommend like it, there's no point in doing that because it's like the operating system that it comes with just makes every makes your life a lot easier. Mm-hmm. So you might as well keep it on there. Because again, it's designed specifically for, for playing games portably. So. Mm-hmm. I I, 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 very well. I really like it honestly I'm I'm on the fence because you know I'm, there's a lot of PC games that are but it, what it what it does though there's a lot of it, it opens up a lot of options that people aren't really considering right now because there's, there's a lot of games right now that for instance there's a lot of games that are coming out for Xbox and PC mm-hmm. and there's a lot of games that come out for PlayStation and PC yep this gives you this gives you that middle for, ground for people that does that don't have you know the Xbox or the PlayStation, it gives you that middle ground that not only you can, you know, I mean, people that are on you know have PC can can always get them. They, they always have that option, but now they give you that option portable. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? When you want to, you know, you name whatever game, you know, if like you know your Street Fighter Five, you can now walk around and play Street Fighter Five. You know, I know Street Fighter Five is an old game now, but you get you get the idea. You know what I mean? Yeah. And not only that, yeah, but yeah, even Guilty, Guilty Gear, I think, is for yeah, it's, it's for PC as well. There you go. You get your Guilty, you can play Guilty Gear on the go now. You know what I mean? Yeah, and the fact that it is a PC, you can plug in any controller to this thing and yep, get your you know your your 
any console experience that you can think of, you can now get it portably, mm-hmm. or even hook it up to a TV. Yep. Which is a it's a great thing to consider that. And not only that, but Game Pass is also, you know, on PC. On PC as well. So you can have you know a mobile Xbox experience on this as well. Mm-hmm. I mean, even though there is, there is you know the the X Cloud or what already existing, but this you know. This is just another option. Another option and a, maybe a more robust option. Yeah, definitely a more robust option. You know, so you can have your, you know, your Halo, your, your, your Sea of Thieves, all that, you know. On the go. All on the go. Yeah, even your Apex Legends now on the go. You can literally play Apex. Which you can. Uh, there's a mobile version. There's a Switch version. But, well, no, the mobile version is not out yet. But no, there's a Switch version. There's a Switch version. It's no bueno. It's not the best. It's not the best. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, I mean, it's I, I don't know. I'm 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 on the fence. I'm like, I'm impressed with it. I'm definitely whether impressed I, with whether it. Whether I get one or not is that, yet to be seen. That's what I'm on the fence with. Whether or not I want to get one or not. But it, it looks like it could be worth the money. I think the cheapest option was like around 300 bucks, something like that. Yeah. And Which I, to me is. Given what they're what you get for that three hundred bucks, I think it's worth the money. Mm-hmm. I could think of worse ways to spend three hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. Considering on the island that you know the, the switch is being, you know, scalped to like you know four hundred bucks, and for less than that you can get a, an actual PC experience. You know, it's I could again I could I could think of worse ways to spend three hundred bucks. One hundred percent. So yeah, I mean, if those of you are looking for, you know, and, and it's coming out this holiday season, I think. This holiday season, look at that. So they are, they are getting ready to ship these things worldwide, right in time for you know, for Christmas. <laughs> and again, it, it's it's gonna compete with the the, the new Switch. Mm-hmm. I think. Well, but I mean, yes and no, but definitely as far as mobile game experience, now it, it, it definitely will. The OLED, because I think a lot of people were hyped for the OLED. You know, <clears throat> tomorrow bus Swiss obviously gives you the better, um, you know, doing options. Apparently, that the, the Joy Cons are improved, but it was, I thought it was funny that you know they actually put out not Nintendo, but the Steam. They actually there was a I saw an article talking about their thumbsticks and how that they are never gonna drift. They, they, they said like it's not gonna drift. You don't have to worry about that. So I thought that you know it was a direct, direct yeah, uh-huh. you know, attack on the you know Switch, but. The new Switch apparently is supposed to have improved Joy Cons as well, so yeah. that's yet to be seen. Yet to be seen, because I mean they look the same, but that's my thing, and, and that's that, that's my thing. Like, if they look the same, but you're saying that they're improved, why couldn't you just improve them from off the jump when they were having an issue? Having an issue, you know what I mean? So, no, yeah, we'll see. Time will know. time will tell how. I mean, if I get my hands on it and I open it, I'll, I'll be able to tell you because I, <laughs> I, I, I've seen the insides of them. Yeah. So, but yeah. Definitely worth checking out. Definitely, you know, worth looking into for sure. 